How are you doing, Kasane? What do you mean? Could you be more specific? Like physically? No, never mind. It's not a big deal. I think I understand the kind of person you are. I feel the same way. I hope we're able to interact a little more. Do you remember the other day when I asked you how you were doing? Yes. What was that about? I'm sorry for the strange question. I just didn't know what to say to a young person. I only wanted to know how you were doing. If everything's okay, then that's good. You're a trustworthy individual. I know that now. That's an honor coming from a veteran like yourself. You move so efficiently in battle. That's really impressive, considering how little combat experience you have. Although, while it's great that you don't hesitate, just don't be too reckless. Sometimes you need to pause and think. Yes, you're right. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to remember that. Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean to lecture you. Maybe this is because of my age. The more I get to know you, the more impressed I am. Is something wrong? I mean, I think you're amazing too. Look, Kasane, it seems like I'm not very good at expressing these kind of feelings. I'm just concerned about you as a friend. That's all I wanted to say. It's strange. I don't feel upset hearing that coming from you, Gemma. Thank you. No need to thank me, I'm just telling you how I feel. This is kind of embarrassing. I know this is strange to say, but I really admire you. I admire you as well. I have to make sure I live up to your respect. Kusane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? <sighs> I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. 
No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new, too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. <laughs>